Previously on the Cheetah Whisperer. Abby, hello, come, come, come. Hello, come, come, come. Now, I've mentioned Abby has an apprehension about men. She was raised mostly by women and probably why. Well, her apprehension about everyone quadrupled since her hormonal changes to protect her cubs. Since the birth of her cubs, she's only trusted one female staff member. But time and effort nurtures trust. She's a lot better with everyone now. Yeah, Abby. Hey, look, hey, Abby, look what I got for you. Look what I got for you. Look, Abby, look here. Chicken icing with skin. Yeah, sweetie. A little bit of hissing there. Now I had to rebuild my bonds with Abby before seeing her cubs. Abby, you want some food? Yeah, admittedly, the fastest way to an animal's heart is through its stomach. Yeah. Calcium dinner. There you go, sweetie. Look at that. Look what I got you. Come, come, come. Oh, I know, teeth. There you go. There you go. See, it's okay, sweetie. For days following the birth, Abby became highly hormonal and protective over her cubs. To visit them, I needed help and to keep my profile low so I was less threatening. I had to break through Abby's protective nature oh, over her that. cubs. Now, offering food is one of the big ways of doing that. She's a bit apprehensive about, about, uh, about men. men. Uh, she always has been since she was a cub. Um, so to work through that, you have to kind of do the things that they like to do. And familiarize her with uh, positive encounters. So that's, that's one reason I'm doing this hand feeding here. Uh, this chicken is very good. It's got the bone in it. Uh, it gives her the calcium. Since the, um, the cubs are you know, draining her of calcium, this helps uh, return it. And I pet them, give them reassurance. I'm not in competition for the food. So they can basically ignore that I'm even here. Yeah, lay down, sweetie. There you go. Lay down. Enjoy. There you go. I'm going to sit right here with you. And it's good to have a, you know, an animal not tense when it's time to eat. You know? It should be a nice relaxing thing like it is right here. Currently, Abby is giving all the food she can eat. She's feeding for herself and two growing cubs. It was time to meet Abby's cubs. I had to ask Abby first. Abby gave me reassurance it was okay to visit her cubs. Hey, Abby. Hello, Abby. Hey, Abby. Sweet mom, Abby. It's important for Abby to trust everyone with her cubs so they can get essential care going forward. The future of her cubs depend on it and why I try so hard. Hey, Abby. So Abby came to, uh, just came to, to me with uh, her cubs next to me, but then they, the cubs are over here now. But it's a good chance to equate with Abby. She's purged to come to me. Now she's checking out her, her cubs, she's leaving. So it's good. She, uh, uh, she was very, very calm uh, and relaxed with me, and that's what I want. But again, if I stood up, she would probably be afraid of me. Keeping my profile lower helps with uh, my relationship with her. With Abby more relaxed, I was able to visit her cubs for the very first time. They are just four days old. Now, I was so overwhelmed with emotion that I had to do a retake. All right, it's my first time seeing Abby's cubs. That's too much stuff. That's too much <laughs> After gathering my composure, I tried again. The second cub born was a female I named Kimya, or Kimmy for short. This is Kimmy I'm holding. It's a Swahili name meaning silent. She was very quiet upon her birth and only began purring days later. Such a precious and invaluable addition to this world. You purr? How are you going to purr? I heard you. There it goes. It's barely audible. Oh, here comes mom. Hey, Abby. Hey, Abby. Look who's here. Your cubs. Hey, Abby. Sweet Abby. So I'm trying to get um, Abby used to me as well. Being on a, a lower profile, like I am, is the best way. Here, purring. Cubs, sweetie. 
is my first time seeing her because now she's relaxing with the Cubs. Yeah, that's your Cubs, sweetie. Yeah. Abby's eyes are really wide, so she's not sure. She's purring, but she's not sure. I'm showing her that uh, I can be with her Cubs safely. There's no problems. She has definitely changed her. I can see it in her face. Due to a breeder's agreement, the male cub is not mine. He can always be found on the lower abdominal nipples. That's where he likes to suckle. Staff that own him have named him Kaiser. In one of my encounters, baby Kaiser comes to visit me. Hello there. Hello and welcome here. Oh, you are welcome. Oh, it's the boy. He loves to oh, the boy. Hey there. Hello. You like that warmth? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Come on up here with your little claws. <laughs> Why aren't you sweet? Yeah, aren't you sweet? Yeah, you can come see me. It's okay. I was hoping you'd, you'd feed from mommy, but if you want to come see me too, it's okay too. Your sister's over there. Aren't you a sweetie? It's so cute. Now uh, their world is starting to open up because um, their eyes have opened up. One more sense now has been activated. Not just hearing and the touch. Now they can see. So he, he saw me laying it, sitting over here. He said, oh, I'll come, I'll come see, visit you. That's so sweet. Abby. Oh, listen. There's a purring. I revved up his purr motor with a neck scratch. You can barely hear it. Maybe it won't pick up. He's purring. I'll take up my mic. You hear that? There's another purring. Abby's purring too. That's so sweet. My, uh, I heard that they purred out of the, as soon as they were born, they were purring, um, which is amazing to me. To me, it means there's a lot of development already inside the womb when these uh, animals are developing inside. That's a little snuggle bunny, aren't you? Little hour time together with the cubs after mama got fed. <laughs> They're just little climbers, aren't they? Hey, <laughs> sweetie. They're so, they're so stronger than I've, when I first saw them a week ago. Amazing. Look at that. Look at you guys. This is the girl here. <laughs> hey, sweetie, how are your eyes? Oh, look at the little squinty eyes. Let me see your squinty eyes. Look at that. Little squinty eyes come opening up. Huh? Yeah, the girl's got her eyes almost, uh, almost three fourths of the way open. And the boy too. Yeah, oh, I get to climbing up. Hey, sweetie. Oh, they're so strong. I got to using their claws to climb. They're just so, they're so you know, strong. They're so good. It's amazing to me that um, you know that uh, mom's milk is is so powerful in this in the mammalian world. That uh, that's all they feed from. That's all they need. Uh, is milk uh, to survive mom's milk and it's so much better than any kind of human formula that you might try you can't you just can't replicate it I would add that cheetah cubs begin eating meat around three months old but can continue suckling from mom up to eight months old it's gonna purr I was gonna call to them that's a mom calling it's amazing to me is uh, Abby has never uh, she's never been in heat before. Uh, she's never bred before. This is her, well, she's bred once before. This is the first time she's ever had cubs. And to me, the instincts are incredible. I mean, nobody taught Abby to call to her cubs or you know, be protective. It's, it's all innate and instinctive um, and designed, right? It's, you know, it's, to me, it's incredible how, how life works. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let uh, the cubs uh, go to mom, see if they, uh, they'll, they'll approach, approach her. She's already called, so I'm gonna let them climb over me. This is the boy. The big old, big old fat belly he's got. Oh, there you go. 
Go see mom. I may have to give a little help here. There you go. There you go, sweetie. This is the uh, female. Here, sweetie. There you go. There you go. Go see mommy. Mommy's worried about you. Well, she's purring too. She's just, it's a concerned mother. It's just uh, beautiful to see. And that's how you know that, you know, such a fragile, a uh, fragile life like this is so dependent on mom in the wild. You know, she's, they're, uh, oh, come back to me. <laughs> uh, not mommy. <laughs> mommy's over here. Mommy's over here. Mommy's over here. Up you go. I can tell this is the boy. He is so big. Big old gut. There's Mommy. Listen to Abby tell her cubs, Come here! Abby never made this sound before having cubs. There's that call to her cubs. So I grabbed the uh, little female. She was crawling behind me. So uh, the little boy's really cute. He is. He likes to snuggle. That's really sweet. Hey Abby. Hey Abby. Hey Abby. Look at your beautiful cubs. You gonna clean them up? Yeah, you gonna clean them up, huh, sweetie? Hey Abby. Hey Abby. Hey sweet Abby. It's just such a, a blessing to have Abby let me hold her cubs like this. You know, I have. I have an A relationship with her. So it's really, really a rewarding thing that Abby's letting me uh, be with the cubs. Now she can relax, like she's gonna lay down. I'm gonna let the cubs come to her. Let, maybe she'll let, she'll let them nurse. I'll try the female first. Now she's gonna snuggle with mom. This one, look at this guy. He's all, he just turned upside down. He's, he's playing with his paw. He's actually playing. Look at that. <laughs> You're gonna play a little bit, huh? Remember that old. Uh... Oh, he's really cute. Turn around. Well, I'd love to see you, you uh, nurse. Let me go direct him this way. You nurse with mommy, huh? Come here. Nurse with mommy. No, he wants back up on my lap. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, he can back up on my lap. It's okay. Uh, as the females, she's rooting into the uh, Abby's tummy to look for a, a, a teat. very special to me to have Abby. Um, trust me, it's difficult um, because she's got this instinct now. It's uh, really kicked in. Um, she's, be she's better with me if I'm with what those she likes already, uh, but also when I'm lowering my profile, you know, not making any strange moves or walking around, then I have my best chance of uh, being with Abby. See? And that's it. And I have a relationship with her. It's just it's, it's not perfect. It may never be perfect, but if I have something with it, it's it's good. Something's better than nothing. The perfect, peaceful, natural moment disrupted by cheetah tail swatting.
Listen to the sound of a cheetah cub suckling. Currently, Abby and her cubs are in a smaller baby camp for their safety. When they get bigger and stronger, they'll be allowed excursions into a more wild camp to learn, play, and exercise. All three will be harness trained so they can be safely escorted to the large game range next door. They'll be allowed to explore and run off lead and eventually learn to hunt there. In preparation, I've asked the staff to help me humanize and tame the cubs. There's certainly debate about captive wild versus tame, but I've seen the difference between the quality of care between the two circumstances. There's no comparison for interactive quality care versus wild no touch. And the fact is, you can release both tame and wild captive cheetahs with the same success. It just depends on preparedness and where you release them. It's all part of my plan with my hands-on approach to cheetah conservation. If you like this video, please share it and give it a thumbs up. And consider joining my channel 